Hey everybody, it's Brando Drum from uh, Brando Drum VR. Uh, here making a video that a few people have asked about. What's the difference between the classic size and the XL size? Um, it, what precisely are you getting that's different? Uh, so here I have my own personal left-handed classic size. Here is a XL that I've gotten ready to, for a customer and I figured I'd take the opportunity um, to compare. So starting with the butt end, there is a little bit of difference there. Let's talk about it. So we have classic size butt end on the right and an XL size on the left. The classic is pretty straightforward, shorter overhang for the shoulder rest. That's cool. Allows a little bit more mobility, especially on those shorter ranges uh, when you have it set up shorter this way. Um, it's just going to sweep past your wrist a little bit easier. Also, the Classic is what I designed to really match up with the actual dimensions of most weapons inside of VR games, uh, which is to say it matches up with the dimensions of how real weapons actually function. Most gun stocks are exaggerated. The XL is a bit exaggerated. This is a taller butt end than most rifles would actually ever give you in real life. Um, the, the butt end is really more about that size, not that big. Um, but a lot of traditional gun stocks in the space that people have gotten used to over the years have a real exaggerated butt end. Um, it's huge. And so I've created on the XL the more exaggerated butt end. And honestly, there was a time where all I had was this size butt end. Then I moved to have three different sizes, and that was a challenge to keep up with. So I consolidated, I consolidated everything and made these little additional gear adjustments um, to give you more range in between the two. So instead of having three sizes, I have two. And there's some cross uh, uh, capability here with the different gears. If you wanted to have you know, less overhang underneath the main beam, you can mount on this gear, or etc. So that's what that's all about. Um, the other piece is the cheek weld adjuster. So I have a taller one on the XL size and a smaller one on the Classic. And I could do parts elimination and just have, you know, one size butt with two size cheek welds. I could easily do that or vice versa. Um, but my customers, I've, you know, I've sold hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these and I've gotten feedback from a lot of folks. And people just love it the way it is now. They love being able to buy the full kit that gives you all the different sizes and you being able to interchange, mix and match. So maybe having this type of configuration or this configuration, um, it gives you a little bit different capability. I'll continue to work on it, um, but I think I'm sitting in a sweet spot, kind of having that mix and match capability between the two. So that's the butt end. Recap, taller uh, or deeper shoulder engagement. So you get it into the armpit, higher cheek weld, more exaggerated on the XL, more realistic and compact on the classic. So I'll leave those, actually, leave those on screen as we talk about the next bit. So the next bit is the main beam. Um, and I think I mentioned this already, but uh, the idea of the classic is I'm pretty you know, slightly taller than average, but pretty average sized American male at about 5'10". Um, the middle settings are where I like to play. So I made it so you can go shorter for shorter people than how I like to play. Roughly half the population, supposedly, uh, at least male population. And then you can go longer uh, because the other half of the population is going to be taller than me. But <laughs> there's really how much taller people can get... Um, it's funny that you, you count the number of people in average height. Yeah, half people, half the population might be shorter than me, but how much shorter is not as much is not the same as how how much taller people can get. Uh, funny thing about statistics: there are people, you know, multiple feet taller than me. There are not that many adults that are multiple feet shorter than me. <laughs> so I think that's another reason why the XL came to be. There are people who are, you know. Six five, six six, six seven, considerably taller than me, and this doesn't work for them. Um, but the shortest player that I know of is like a four eleven female that bought my product, and she she loves the classic. It it works fine. Um, so so there you go. Uh, 
people can get much taller than they can get shorter, even though half the population is on one side versus the other. So the XL adjusts for that. And one of the ways I do that is the main beam. That's this portion here. So a, a longer sleeve as well as a longer uh, outer beam, as I, I would call it. So you can see quite a bit of difference between those two. There's a bit more reinforcement here because I want you to have a good experience even at maximum settings where I'm not introducing a lot of flex. So this doesn't need it at maximum settings. This does uh, to some degree, and that's the difference between these two. I'll leave those up here for the next piece. So you might notice I don't have any front end grips, but we're gonna talk about attachments. So the only attachment that ha is affected by uh, which size you, you get is the, is the forearm brace. The front end grip, apparently when I designed it, it landed in a Goldilocks zone. Basically nobody has asked me for a longer version of that. Well, two have, but it's actually not because they want longer settings. It's because they're really tough on it and they wanted more reinforcement, which I've beefed that up over time, so that's no longer an issue. So that's the front end grip is the same size for everybody regardless of which package you buy. The forearm brace though, there is a difference. And I'm gonna move these actually a little bit out of the way as we talk about this next bit. So the, the forearm brace, there's two size noodles. The cool thing is you get both size noodles regardless of classic or XL. An XL buyer is gonna get the standard noodle. A classic uh, buyer is gonna get the X, uh, uh, both size noodles. Um, but I'm just gonna install the corresponding noodle. So here's an XL. For forearm brace, it comes installed with the XL noodle, uh, but again, you can swap that out. Just to show you max settings, there's quite a bit of difference here. So we were on min minimum settings there a second ago. Here's maximum, quite a bit of difference. And uh, you know, I think my fisheye lens doesn't show the real difference, but yeah, it's it's considerable between the two. Um, like an inch and a half, two inches, something like that at max. So uh, there you go. You get a different size uh, main beam, butt, and forearm brace, depending on the two sizes. All that being said, this has been honed in over hundreds of iterations, essentially. Hundreds of sales, feedback from all sorts of folks. If you think you're a classic, you probably are. I'm getting very few people buying a classic saying, dang it, I wish this was longer. A few, um, but you're gonna, be, you're gonna be pretty well set there. Um, on the other end, if you think you're an XL, you probably are and you're gonna be happy with it. But I'm happy to answer any questions that you guys have um, uh, beyond this video and uh, share your feedback. Always love hearing it. Thanks so much.